Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Industries, and today we're gonna to talk to you about another episode of Wheel History. Now, usually there's some sort of creative or quick-whipped intro to a video like this, but we just got 18 inches of snow. So there's really nothing for us to do in Wisconsin besides make videos for you guys. And on top of that, Mario just had his wisdom teeth ripped out, so he's just eating SpongeBob ice cream pop things. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It doesn't even look that good. But today, we're gonna to talk to you about the truth of Cosmos racing wheels. So back in the day, and when I say back in the day, I mean 10 years ago, if you wanted to have aftermarket wheels for your sport compact car, you had about three options. You had NK, Rota, and NK. So what happens when you finally introduce a fourth company? Well, that company is essentially what Cosmos Racing Wheels is. Cosmos Racing was founded in 2011 and didn't come into the United States until 2013. Cosmos specializes in cast aluminum one-piece sport compact wheels. And honestly, Cosmos Racing has taken over the aftermarket wheel game by storm. You have to remember that a lot of these brands that we talk about are either four to five decades old or 10 years old. And Cosmos Racing is in that 10 year old category. They're competing against companies like NK, they're competing with companies like even Wed Sports, some would say, and other sport compact style wheels that things like 1552 have as well. But the difference is, is Cosmos Racing is providing a bunch of different styling and aggressive offsets that a lot of newer companies just aren't providing. So when Cosmos Racing officially entered the United States of America, they had one goal, to make bad wheels that wouldn't break the bank. That's honestly what they were trying to do. And I would say that they've done it pretty well so far. Now, if you go out to Cosmos Racing online, you're gonna see also there's Cosmos Racing International, and they are very much two different things. Cosmos Racing is able to select the wheels that they want to bring into the States, whereas Cosmos Racing International just brings as many wheels as possible to be made and sold everywhere around the world. So the reason that Cosmos Racing has grown so much in the past few years is because that these wheel designs are essentially getting hand-picked by the team that's importing them instead of just bringing in every single wheel design that Cosmos Racing makes. Good old Cosmos is owned by a parent company called PP Super Wheels. PP. <laughs> you can't laugh, I'm ever recording myself. <laughs> and uh... Brought snacks. Oh. I came back because I heard more. <laughs> I really just wanted to be in the video. Um, um, um. So PP Super Wheels was founded in 2004 in Thailand and their goal was very simple, to make chrome and polished and colored wheels in staggered fitments. Now, I wish I could make it sound fancier than what it was, but that is ultimately what their goal was. Their mission statement, all that stuff isn't too exciting to read. Now, what ended up happening is after about seven years, PP Super Wheels decided to found their own sport compact design wheel called Cosmos Racing. Cosmos Racing was then produced, they have thousands, not really thousands, but they have a ton of different designs. Cosmos Racing actually has way too many designs that we'd be able to talk about or even distinguish, but most of them, if not all, are either low pressure cast or rotary forged flow forge tech wheels. So PP Super has decided to debut the Cosmos Racing line at their booth at SEMA in Las Vegas in 2012, and it was overall a very good success. A lot of people were very interested in understanding what they were trying to do with the Cosmos Racing brand, and it got picked up extremely quick. Shortly thereafter a United States division was made for Cosmos Racing and that's where we get you know Cosmos. So when Cosmos comes up in discussion there's usually a few questions that surround it. Who are they? Are they reps? And are they any good? Now the company itself is relatively new in the United States and they still got a lot of room to grow in certain aspects of their business but we'll get into that later. Cosmos Racing specializes and the reason that they're so good at what they do is because of their aggressive sizing. So when it comes to low pressure cast wheels, a lot of times you get your standard finish offsets. You get your 35s, you get your 42s, you get your 45s. Eight and a half and nine and a half is pretty much where a lot of those one piece cast wheels draw the line. And that's where Cosmos truly shines. These guys have extremely aggressive offsets and finishes for their one piece cast wheels. We're talking 18 by 11 at a plus 10 or even a plus five offset 
in a one-piece wheel. And even though that these wheels are made in Taiwan, a lot of their finishes are better than a lot of other wheel brands that we've seen. On top of that, they specialize a lot in sort of their detailed styling for their wheels. Probably my personal favorite is the 005R and the XT206R. And if you look at some of the finishes with the red and the milling and the polished barrel with the black inside barrel, it's just crazy cool the amount of effort that they put into these wheels. And that's what makes Cosmos so special is the fact that these guys are really diving into what they can do with a one piece low pressure cast wheel without necessarily breaking the bank. Now, because of their aggressive offsets and sizing, you aren't gonna get a lot of your standard sizing for necessarily like a Subaru or an Evo or anything like that. These guys specialize in the more aggressive offsets, which means you're gonna have to worry on the things are going to hit. And that's where Cosmos is kind of needing to work on a couple of their things. Cosmos Racing has really only aggressive styling right now, and they only have very common bolt patterns. They do have to get more into the four bolt applications. And on top of that, they gotta get some normal offset sizing for people that just wanna run their wheels without having to worry about doing over fenders, wide body, or riveted, whatever the hell people are doing these days, whatever that is. But they need to get into that if they plan on continuing to grow. And besides companies like American Racing and Foose, you can't really get the sizing options that Cosmos provides. They really have hit a market that specializes in what they want to do. It's a niche market between the S2000s, the Miatas, the Sport Compacts, the Sport Style cars that a lot of people are truly starting to love these wheels because finally people have an answer to buying wheels that aren't NK or Rotas. Cosmos Racing is really where any company for a wheel company would want to be. They have the market, they have a lot of attention on their brand, but now it comes down to is if they can actually capitalize on this and do it right. We've seen a lot of brands that have come out that have started to grow extremely fast and then they make a huge fundamental mistake and I would hate to see Cosmos Racing do that. The cool thing is, is that Cosmos has PP Super Wheels behind it because they allows them to look at designs and get new fresh faces almost every single month if they really want to. Cosmos Racing is in a very unique situation because they can do that and they can pick and choose the designs that come in, especially the colors. Now, with the colors and the offsets and the size, you might be wondering, so what, what is Cosmos Racing doing to elevate or evolve the game? And that's a pretty good question. There are companies that are out there that their goal is to change the game in any way, shape, or form. And then you have other brands that are going out there to say, this is the game, how can we make it the best possible version of what we want as possible? And that's what Cosmos is doing. They're not really trying to elevate or change a lot of stuff more than they are just trying to provide something that isn't in the market right now, which is a competitive low pressure cast wheel. Now you have to remember on something like this, especially with these wheels, to get something with a deep lip, to get something with concavity, to get something with three different color design profiles on their wheels, it just doesn't exist right now. And there really is no competition for it besides your standard competition, which we've talked about in the past. So while Cosmos doesn't have a lot of history, they really don't need a lot of history because the market that they're hitting is relatively new. So are Cosmos any good? Well, the short answer would be yes. They have a ton of different designs, most of which are original, some of which, if you look internationally, are not original, but for the most part, they do very well. They're JWL and VIA tested, so they are getting a good wheel that's manufactured in safety and all of that stuff. Now, we don't have any sort of rigidity or actual bending testing that we found, but there are other tests out there that do that. On top of that, when we reached out to Cosmos, they told us that they only do business with two factories in Taiwan, because those are the only two that actually meet their testing regulations for making these wheels. Cosmos Racing USA has six employees. That's it, six employees. Which you can probably find most of them on Facebook if you try hard enough, but they're mostly good guys. The six employees actually do all the marketing, import, and all that sort of good stuff to make sure that people are getting their wheels. Now when you think about it, six people is not a lot of people to be running a huge wheel brand. So we should be seeing more staff and more customer service come on through the team probably sooner rather than later. So in 2013 and 14, they actually partnered with a company called Rent for Ring, which is a Nürburgring company that allows you to rent vehicles as one of their partnered and official wheel vendors, which is pretty cool. On top of that, for bragging rights, they also have partnered with Need for Speed. Which one? Let me check. 
Need for Speed No Limit. So what that means is that they're actually listed on there as a wheel that you can go out and modify, you know, whatever car that you'd modify. So what is on the track for Cosmos? Well, they're doing pretty well and they'll continue to do well. They plan on introducing more styles, more options, more finishes and all that sort of stuff. Their history is looking pretty fresh. I mean, they have everything that they need to be a successful company. And I know that you guys are always questioning on if they're a good brand or not. And our experience with them has always been great. We have yet to hear any sort of issues or problems with bent or broken broken wheels unless you're like Parker that just gave me the beef jerky and decided to smash his car at around 90 miles an hour around a turn trying to pretend to be a drifter. So Cosmos Racing, that is the history of Cosmos Racing wheels. If you guys have questions, comments, or concerns, let us know below. Mario reads every single one and because he just has his wisdom teeth ripped out, he actually can't really talk. So this has been a little weird the past couple days here at the shop, but we'll see what happens. Of course, if you're looking to pick up some Cosmos wheels, check us out, fitmentindustries.com. We have over 30,000 wheels, tires, suspension, airlift, and we just announced that we are now partnered with Silver Suspension. So if you're looking to get some great coilovers that aren't gonna break the bank around $1,200, definitely check out the website. If you guys wanna see another episode of Wheel History, you gotta let us know below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the, the bell button. The, apparently there's a bell button. So hit that too if you can. So that way you know we're posting videos and stuff. But I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We'll see you later. Peace.